is another reason I wanted to try my unholy DK out because I got a new Lego. Frigging pet classes, man. I'll take it. I'll take this. On Tyrannical Week? Yeah, man. Popping off. Happy reset day to you all, my little Turkish delights. So welcome to today's episode of the Dandy Preacher. Because guess what? I got into a group as a DPS. Whoa! Feeling strong, man. It never happens. It never, ever happens. But I did it. I, I stuck it out, man. I was determined. I'm getting into the pug life as a DPS. Someone else can tank. Someone else can heal. I'm not going to rely on my friends. We're getting this done. We're going to sit through it. And I did it. I did it, man. We're on our death night. We're on our unholy DK. And there's another reason I wanted to try my unholy DK out because I got a new Lego. Uh, it's the uh, shoulders. Dark transformation also empowers our dark arbiter and army of the dead for 30 seconds, increasing the damage by 40%. So what I'm hoping for here is some big, big, fat boss DPS. That's what I'm after. Some big, fat boss DPS uh, where we'll be able to pop off properly. We're not going to reset. Okay. With bolstering Grievous, we should be fine. <laughs> we should be fine, I guess. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to this because I, when I rarely get to DPS in a puck, and uh, I'm probably going to get bamboozled at some point Four. by whatever Three. the tank and the Three. healer do. Uh, that's going to be a thing, I'm sure. But I don't really know what to expect. And plus, I haven't played my whole DK in so long. Like, I got a Lego from a world bus, but... It's one of those specs I never get to play because I always, always uh, want to play my, um, want to play Blood. Like, if I'm doing stream and stuff like that, I want to play Blood. So I'm going to save my deeps a little bit until we start really popping off. And now we'll get it going. Get our pet. Oh, I despawned my pet. Rip. And it's 13 seconds till I can get my pet back. Oh, man. Well, this is sad. God damn it. Can I have my pet, please? Oh, the god, that double bolster already. Now we have a pet. Excellent. Now I can play my DK properly. So, my DK isn't super geared. Like, he's got a high item level, but there's no tier or anything like that. Nothing I would really like to see uh, in order to get, you know, the really crispy DPS. His stats are a little all over the place, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be fine. If I could get this Death of Decay back, though, I'd be more than happy. I'm a little wary of getting too close in here and getting my my head kicked in. Not something I particularly want. I'm going to keep these diseases ticking and going and do just fine there. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the big boss damage. That's what I'm after. I want big boss damage and we're going to be good. <laughs> Starting without a pet is less than ideal, but I'm sure it'll be fine. One thing I have to say and why I, a lot of people always ask, like, what do you, what do you think you would play um, if you were not your mage? And I always kind of say, probably a DK, actually. And the reason for that is pretty simple, is I just love what they've done with it in Legion. Thematically, just everything about it is a big, big fucking home run for me. A real home run. They've done so much cool stuff with it. They've really, in my opinion, they've done such a good job of making a good theme and making it work. That I, I'm super happy with it every time I play with it. I was a bit massive, even when like, when Frost was really popular... I was a little miffed because I didn't want to play Frost. I have no issue with Frost, but it's certainly not what I wanted to play. What I wanted to play was was uh, Unholy. Let's get the army of the dead out because we've got a big, uh, big dude coming up in a second. I assume you're going to pull? Yeah. Oh god, you got the trash as well. Well, shit. <laughs> oh god, you can't like uh, interrupt it with that. What a bummer. Mm. 
not gonna lie, I was seriously hoping I could interrupt uh, Bladestorm with, um... Oh, I'm gonna death strike this with uh, the death grip there, but it's the first time I've tried it. I don't think I've ever DPS the Arcway. <laughs> I don't think I've ever DPS the Arcway. <laughs> and usually if I'm tanking, I tuck myself in nice and near the corner. Not that it worked out too badly anyway. Oh, 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 Skippy Doodle. <sighs> that was my pet, wasn't it? It was. <sighs> Gotta make an ass of myself out in the dungeon, man. I, I mean, I could have moved too, I suppose. He was so young. <laughs> he was so young. He was. He was so young. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bummer. Where was the spell steal? God, I can't trust these pets, can you, man? You can't trust these pets. I'm saving my dark transformation because uh, we know what's coming up here. We know what's coming up. Let's give him a... Give him a Give him a give him a slap. Prove yourself, ghoul. Don't be the scrub they believe you to be, ghoul. That's all I'm saying. I feel like them uh, unholy DKs. The unholy DKs in the room. Uh, I watch this. I gotta agree with me. It's like. Uh, if I was to say to you, um, Mistress Sazine, <laughs> an army of the dead, <laughs> you'd probably go, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you got me right there. We know the pain. All the unholies know that horror of Mistress Sazine and the, uh, The army of the dead nightmare that she can cause. Like, why they have to have the pull range so close is a mystery to me. But there you go. Right, here's our boss coming up. I haven't got any potions, which I really do wish I had. I really do wish I had some potions, but we haven't. So we'll, we'll just have to do the best we can. Alright, the dead out. Dark Arbiter out. Buff them all! Go, 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 go! Show me that boss damage, man. Show it me. Need more than this. Need more than this. I, need, I can't DPS there, bro. There we go. Two million single target deeps. Who's your daddy? Ah. God, I totally thought I was going to get knocked back into there then. Not bad, actually. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take this. On Tyrannical Week? Yeah, man. Popping off. Die, boss. Do I have to dismiss him here? It might be for the best. <laughs> it might be for the best if I dismiss him, but I'll take that. No potion, no tear. Dude, I'm all over that. That's cool. Oh, no, he's stuck on a ledge. You jackass. Frigging pet classes, man. Get off there. Can he reset to my location? There he goes. There he goes. What a friggin' jackass, man. We expect more, don't we? That's the problem. We expect so much more. 
But I was saying, like, thematically, the popping of the zits. So if you're not sure what you're looking at, uh, this purple thing you'll see here with the stacks is like me applying sores and pus-filled goo and custy, custy, custard uh, to all of them. And then my scourge strike pops them. And when it pops, it like pops off on everything. It's very cool. How is this looking? All right, brave soldier. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> run away, run away. So it can be a little annoying. Like, Unholy can be a little off-putting, certainly with low health enemies, because by the time you get, like, your zits cooking, when you really get them cooking off, then uh, the mobs tend to be dead. Let's go drag that back to buy our tank some time. <coughs> Oh, you compare it to when I mained this, which was a while ago now, I'm not going to lie. So you can see there, like, you might apply some zits and then the zitted mobs are out of there. They're not, you know, the ones you want with the zits on, they move away from you or it dies. And you kind of got to look to something else with zits to deal with it. But So you can have some frustrations, but it doesn't matter. It plays so nicely. And it's really cool theme. You can really feel, like, the weapons don't have any weight with Unholy. I think that's fair to say. Like, Scourge Strike feels really pansy. Um... Because <laughs> it just goes, whoosh, 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 whoosh. you know, it doesn't sound like you're what dropping. It, do, mate? it goes. <laughs> do I look like a mongoloid? <laughs> I guess that's my video intro, I suppose. <laughs> Burnt myself again. But um, when you're actually popping them, you can see like the damage numbers are almost the weight that it carries because it goes. You know, you can feel that sort of spurty, gooey goodness. That comes out of them at the same time, which is great. I really love it. Alright, we don't have our big army of the dead, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Let's got our big dark, dark arbiter on the go. Get our army of the dead ready. Oh, come on! One more. There we go. Dark transform it. Buff all that damage. Big willies. Big damage. Does require a little bit of setup, but well, that's alright. Oh, bruh. What are you doing to my damage, son? Is that a fucking game? DK mobility hype. Just as long as, uh. <laughs> My mobility's fine. <laughs> oh. As long as I don't have to move again. <laughs> as long as I can stay like this, I'm fine. Oh, thank God, clearing that route. Good stuff. Do not want to get rooted with Tangled Web like this. Oh, two seconds on Wraithwalk. Did you not move? I wanted instant replay on that, Cotton. Did you just leave it to the DK to do all the mobility? Is that how you want to play this? Because if that's how we're going to play it, that's how you, you made me bottom of the damage. You made me bottom of the damage. <laughs> Unnecessary, churlish, chicanerous, in fact. I give it, I no longer care about bolstering. I'm going in, I'm going in deep. Yeah, I'm just gonna AOE constantly now because of that one guy. Maybe I'm not even sure doing something I didn't like. And from this point on, it's no holes barred. <laughs> You've completely agitated my funny bone. You've made me angrier than I wanted to be. We got our army of dead going now. I'm just trying to maximize its usage. There's no big reason to use Army of the Dead here, but... All the interrupts, look at that! Everyone's interrupting in this dungeon. This is going to be a nice run, I think! The Pug plus 10 Arcway going nicely? Well, we'll see, won't we? See what cost Lax has for us. Don't pull, you! Vile foot. Not on my watch, son. I think I'm safe to... Tr I think it'll take us more than a minute to clear this. Pop 
Pop all the zits. Oh, no death and decay. Feels bad, man. Mm, couple of debuffs on me. I'm going to AMS this one. Oh, good, man. This is a solid... Every now and again, I know you guys don't believe it. I know you don't. I know you want my soul to be crushed in every pug we do. But every now and again... It's all right. It's all right. I still firmly believe it comes down to the tank, though. <laughs> like, you got a tank, you just decent pulls, and your life is just so much easier. It really is just, like, infinitely easier. Now, one thing I don't know, someone can leave in the comments, or I could check afterwards, but I'm bound to forget. I don't know if uh, Dark Arbiter uh, dynamically updates. I think it does. I'm just thinking about the haste pools. I, I honestly don't know. Free my bro. Would have appreciated some sort of big coolie on me there, mate. The only problem I have with this one, uh, with the unholy DK, is just the silly abundance of resources that you get. it does get really outrageous with a lot of extra resources. You just can't get rid of them all. Like, you can see my root power bar is full and I'm just spamming scourge strikes. Now, I know I've got a haste buff. Before goes, yeah, me. You had a haste buff, though. That's on me, isn't it? I, for, I could tell. Get me, tanky. Ah, you're gonna die. I'm committed. You're out of here, buddy. Go home. Just the abundant, getting too many resources really bugs me from a DPS standpoint. Like, when I was a main DK, I can tell you that little story. Um, I'll leave background to this, don't worry. <laughs> I won't just forget what I was talking about. So, during Kata, I was a tank for my guild, right? And I was a warrior and a druid, and... Uh, then I went off and played a warlock for a while. And then when it came to, like, <laughs> come back to normal, like, I, I just... I wanted, I wanted an easier schedule in the world first race. Like, it just wasn't that fun for me. Once I, once I tried it out, I was like, this, you know, it's not really, this isn't really my jam. I could do it, but it's just, it's, if, unless you've done it, you won't know what I'm talking about. So don't worry about it. <laughs> I realized I was like, yeah, nah. So uh, I came back and I was looking around and I really, really wanted to play a Death Knight. And I'd wanted to play a Death Knight since they came in in Wrath of the Lich King. I saw what Andy was doing, because Andy was a DK straight into Wrath. Uh, we had some good friends, a guy called Core and a guy called Drock, who were playing DKs. And they were doing some really cool things, like really cool things. And I just always envied them. And, I, and one thing I very much envied was the ability of the DK to always be desirable, because they had that combination of melee and ranged. And regularly throughout Wrath of the Lich King, there were several fights, like Malagos is a good example, like when we were pushing the Malagos achievement for the first time for the guild. No melee were required. And they were one tanking it, so I wasn't needed. And I really felt like a complete jerk off that I had a druid. <coughs> no, at the time I was a warrior. That I just was useless. Because I was always one of the guys who wanted to be involved in everything, right? I, I was raider. <laughs> Super raider or whatever. And it bugged the hell out of me that the decision was made, well, we don't need you. Like, we don't need a warrior. There's no benefit to having a warrior here. And I was like, oh, okay. But DKs? Eh, uh, yeah. DKs, definitely. 
And I was really envious that they had, they seemingly had an answer for everything. When they came into the game, you got to remember, this was like a long time ago. When they came into the game, they just seemed to have an answer for every scenario. And a good one, too. A really good one. They had solid magical protection, really good physical prevention. Uh, they had three specs which could be utilized in different ways. So, yeah, I was a little envious of the uh, DKs. And it was playing on my mind for a whole expansion. At least that long. Like, all the way through Wrath of the Lich King. And then into Kata. I was like, I really want to do it. But I couldn't give up on tanking. And I didn't like DK tanking. I liked DK DPSing. I didn't like DK tanking. I played Blood quite a bit, but I didn't enjoy it. And I played a bit of Unholy tanking. Needless to say, when it was time to take my leave, as it was, and uh, figure out something else to play... I wanted to use the fact that I've been in methods, so you can call this cheesy all you want, but I wanted to use that knowledge to bar uh, basically barter my way into a guild on a class that I hadn't really geared yet. And to say, you know, basically, oh, well, I'm this guy, and um, uh, you, you want me anyway as a player, it doesn't matter what I play kind of thing. And then eventually I found a guild that had some people who knew who I was, not because of, of uh, YouTube or anything, this is before YouTube. Uh, but people I knew since uh, Vanilla. Uh, re saying knowing, not really knowing, but knew of. And they had a member of the guild who was a friend with my brothers from Vanilla. And that was pure coincidence. I wasn't looking for them. <laughs> it just turned out to be pure coincidence. Anyway, I kind of put the application in. I uh, made the proposal. And... Um, it worked. It was fine. The guys were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. totally okay. Now... Needless to say, when I got into the raid, uh, I came with a lot of baggage. Like, you, you know, you, people go, oh, you're in method, blah, blah, blah. But that actually comes with a lot of baggage. Like, you're expected to do unbelievable things. Like, things that don't realistically make sense. Like, take a character who is way less geared than your friends, way less geared than the rest of the guild, and dominate them all. And these, this guild, my relaxed guild at the time was a world 30th guild. I think they're still like world 30th or something like that. That was my relaxation step down. So, <laughs> I got on my DK. He was an Orc DK. Oh, no, he was undead at the time, I think. Nice group. I know, right? And, um... I started gearing, and it was really hard. But at the time, there was this wonderful new thing. So this was during Cataclysm, right? There's this wonderful new thing called Archaeology. And uh, you could get the perfect started weapon from Archaeology. It was the Zinrock from Troll Tablets. To say I craved it would be an understatement. I craved this thing craved it. At work, because obviously I didn't do this. At work, I would just get a laptop going and just be doing archaeology all the time. <laughs> and I'd read everything about this weapon, like the best ways of getting it, like the cheese you could do, which was all lies and um, half-truths. So let's give you an example. The way you, the best way of getting the weapon was to level completely by actually farming archaeology things. Not turning anything into an actual uh, find, but just by digging up. So you had to level all the way to like 300 or something by digging up. And then you had to like spam everything. Now, not only that, but you had to spam everything on the altar in Zulaman. In Zulgrub. So you can actually physically go into Zulgrub, can't you? Uh, STV. And that's what you had to do. You had to go and stand there. There's people, some people had managed to get it to work if they stood there. And other people had farmed it forever without getting it, then gone and got it. These were all the stories I was reading. They had farmed it forever and ever, and then they went and did this thing in Zulgrub where they stood on the altar when they did all their finds. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I fucking went and did it. So you might say, pretty sure, how did it feel to get that Zulrog? <laughs> <laughs> I never got it. I never got it. I <laughs> uh, never got it. And I farmed way, way, way more than was ever, ever should be necessary to get it. And uh, did not get it. And I was pissed. Did it stop me farming? Hell, what's going on here? Um, I farmed and I farmed and I farmed <laughs> constantly never got it in fact I actually got the uh, 
mythic or heroic magma mace. Which is the point where I finally was like, oh, okay, I don't need to farm this anymore. <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> that was the weapon upgrade. And then I got the um, the heroic ash candy. I got the first one our guild got from the fairy. But needless to say, by that point, I was not only um, the best DPS in the guild by a couple of people. So I was consistently top or very close. But I was also getting extremely strong world rankings. Always in the top 10 on my DK. Mainly, I put it down to enjoying myself. Like, enjoying myself. I had a very set gearing path, which is something we don't have anymore, which is really kind of sad. Uh, but I started, like, fleshing out all these things that I was missing. And that really allowed me to get there to where I wanted to be. So I was being very consistent. I was totally loving my DK. And I was doing things that... At least on my class, on my mage, you can't really do anymore, which is setting things up perfectly to get it done. I really started to get into the nitty gritty of every class mechanic. You might remember the guides I made back then where I went into excruciating detail about things like the Mexican blood tap. <laughs> Those of you might remember that, the Mexican blood tap. <laughs> and um, mastering all this stuff was really just one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life. Uh, in WoW, anyway. Can you stop dropping these? I'm trying desperately to not hurt our tank. And needless to say, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. As so many people say, why don't you do it again? Um, well, I always felt like I defeated my challenge there. With the DK. Like, I'd overcome what I wanted to do with it. And left him be. But next expansion, he's definitely top of the list right now. Like, barring any mega changes... He's top of the list. He's top of the list. I'd really like to... Pl Have we plus three that? What a good day. What a good day. Happy reset day to you all. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.